Today, we're fishing for the most bizarre seafood from around the world. Hello, sir. Um, do you want to do some... Yeah! yeah! There are over 200,000 species of sea creatures. You think this is pretty expensive? Uh, probably, yeah. Only a small percentage are known and commonly consumed by human beings. Some people may find it convenient to consume the more accessible forms of seafood. While a few cultures have adjusted their cuisines to include unique, Ooh. rare, and exotic aquatic dwellers. Who is eating this? You do. In today's episode, we're demystifying sea monsters <laughs> and serving them up to you on a seafood platter. Well, what do you actually eat in here? Once they open this up, it'll be stuffed with uh, the caviar, the eggs in there. When you say caviar, it does make it sound a lot fancier. Cancel endless shrimp Mondays at Red Lobster. It's like salt water together with, um... Regret? <laughs> Let's dive right into our top eight most bizarre seafood dishes from around the world. Yeah. Our seafood journey begins in Hong Kong, where we find a creature that has mastered the art of walking in water. Yes, you heard that right. I said in water. Number eight on our list. A fish that's not cuddly looking at all. The cuttlefish. How is that? Cuttlefish is one of the most intelligent species in the sea, like octopuses, their celebrity cephalopod cousins. This is a creature. It can really change its skin tone. If you tap one, they will actually change color. Boom. Oh! These little guys are known for their expert camouflage skills and quick movements. They're sometimes called the chameleons of the sea. But in Hong Kong, they're called dinner. The cuttlefish is eaten sashimi style, a popular Japanese preparation. Thin sliced raw meat served with soy sauce and wasabi. Mm. <laughs> Awesome texture, firm, like a little chewiness to it, little sting of wasabi. It's a bit similar to squid, but I think even more firm and somehow more luxurious. Thank you. That's all good, yeah, thanks buddy. What isn't made into sashimi is used in our next dish, deep fried Sichuan cuttlefish. They season the cuttlefish chunks in a concoction of your favorite spices and fry it until it's crispy golden brown. The taste? Well, we'll just leave that description to Virginia. If I had it without you telling me what it was, I wouldn't have known it was a cuttlefish. Definitely more firm than a squid. With squid, I think there's more of a crunch and this has more of a chew. Does that make sense? <laughs> totally. Our next seafood dish isn't fishing for compliments about its appearance. But we all know not to judge a fish book by its cover. In this case, the book is a box fish. Right now I'm in the kitchen with Chef Coney. What is special about this fish? Uh, Just like the name suggests, this fish has a very particular shape. Uh, it's very different taste, it's unique taste. For many years, people were reluctant to try this sea animal due to its similarities and appearance to its poisonous relatives. While boxfish aren't themselves poisonous to humans, they're known to release toxins from their skin when face to face with predators of the sea. The boxfish has an extremely hard exterior. It is really like, like a box. But the flesh, well, the flesh is fair game. Really one of the most unique fish I've seen. Scoop the meat out, seize it with your pantry favorites, and deep fry. The outside part, this exoskeleton, we can't eat that. She's gonna flour it up, fry it, and that's gonna be like our serving bowl. That's where the meat wants to be. Seriously. Yeah, like a box. That's hard. That's a hard fish. Why don't we help each other out? I'm just gonna like spread it open. Do you wanna grab some? I'm holding it. I'm holding it with all my power. Mm. Maybe you can grab a few. Wow, that is a robust meat. Super white. Mm. Oh. See? Told you. That's so delicious. Light, fluffy. It's yep. a fluffy fish. Mm. It looks a little off putting. If you just <laughs> see the naked fish, you look into its innocent eyes, you see its big poking out mouth, you feel like, ah, I can't eat this. But then when you see a woman take a, a cleaver to its back, split it open, and pull out some meat, it's like, ah, now I get it. Number six on our list can only be described as being elegant in nature and a bit shocking on your dinner table. We're having Stingray. It's got spikes on its back. It's very bony in the center. It's got a big whippy tail, weird eye holes. Like, what are we eating here? Stingrays are cartilaginous sea animals found in tropical and subtropical oceans all over the world. Oh, I felt that in my chest. <laughs> As is a tradition in Vietnam, the chef uses all parts of the animal. Oh, that's huge. Setting aside the Stingray liver, that'll be used to make a dipping sauce that'll haunt your Oh, okay, my dreams. I did try liver. It was probably the top three worst things I've ever eaten. I oh love these God. flavors. I need a uh, But it turns out to be the most valued part of this creature. So maybe I'll give it another shot. 
let's see. So when we look inside, all the hard to eat parts are just right here in the center. As we get out towards the wings, it's all the meat. To begin, marinate the stingray chunks in a mixture of Asian seasonings and spices and steam. Elevate this dish with a special sauce made from stingray liver, shallots, peppercorn, and Vietnamese fish sauce. Here, stingray wing, let's try it out. Mmm, that's really good. It's quite juicy, it's very soft, a little bit bland. So, give it a little bit of a dip. I guess. Let's go for it. You know what? That's pretty good. The liver directly is very intense. But that added the little bit of depth this dish needed. I gotta say, that's pretty decent. Short for decent. For our second dish, our chef grills beautifully marinated stingray steaks wrapped in banana leaves. Serve on a bed of vegetables and then ignore the vegetables. Oh, look at that. Overall, the meat is actually a little bit mushy, almost like you had some kind of insanely soft pulled pork. The chef did a great job of removing any type of fishy. It is a very clean taste. All the flavors are there. Very nice. Number five, the invaders of the sea, jellyfish. Jellyfish are often villainized due to their love-hate relationship with humans. This is the hand of the jellyfish. This is a leg. It has hands and legs. Some jellyfish are regarded as dangerous. The effects from their sting, ranging from minor paralysis to, well, death. It can sting you and it would make you have like a kind of rash. Later, they would put it in like a briny liquid and it would be safe to eat. So if you eat it without putting it in a brine, is it gonna sting your mouth? It can even cause you to go to the hospital. Oh, really? The Vietnamese word for jellyfish is a renowned ingredient in many dishes across Vietnam. We challenged a Saigon-based gourmet chef to create the most luxurious jellyfish spread in the world. Uh, oh, rubber gloves. Uh, should we elbow in? Boom. Our four-course menu included baguettes and jellyfish butter. Tangy, creamy, spicy, an indecipherable amount of jellyfish. Jellyfish soup or bun sua. Got some seaweed, mushrooms, please be cheese, but it's probably tofu. <laughs> the jellyfish has a crunchy, kind of sandpaper type consistency. It's got a roughness to it. It's a bit unrefined. It's like putting me in a fine dining restaurant. Deep fried seaweed jellyfish canapé. The jellyfish actually blends into this one more. It has a little bit of a smoky taste to it. Avocado's making it creamy. The salmon adds even more richness to it. It's like eating sushi. Like all the ingredients are here. It's not a sushi roll, it's a mm. sushi pile. And steamed lobster with jellyfish sauce and saffron rice. I've got a bunch of lobster tail here, some jellyfish chili sauce. Oh, wow. Jellyfish texture with the kind of stringiness, chewiness of a lobster tail. It works. It made the lobster and jellyfish feel like they belong together, like Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. And there you have it. Our jellyfish tasting menu valued at $100 is complete. Number four, gooey duck in China. Gooey ducks are the largest burrowing clams in the world. Bro, oh my God. What the? The adults weigh up to 10 pounds. These clams are often found in the coastal waters of Canada and the United States. Though they're not commonly eaten in the West, they're enjoyed by locals in certain parts of Europe and Asia. It's not endangered. We're gonna eat this for sure. Very oceany, very briny. So he's stripping out the internal organs and he's blanching the main muscle in this hot water. Okay, this is like the force and I, I don't want that. Gooey duck is most often enjoyed sashimi style. Clean and thinly slice that gooey duck until it's virtually invisible to the naked eye and enjoy. It's really good. It has a, a little bit of a briny flavor to it. Very fresh and really it's, it's almost a crunchy texture to it. It's so interesting. I'm gonna dump a little bit in the soy sauce now. <coughs> <laughs> that is some strong wasabi, bro. It just has a really interesting kind of crunchiness to it that you wouldn't expect from a meat. Maybe try it with a little less wasabi than me. Next up, sea cucumbers. These ocean critters are the only exception to my no cucumber rule because they're <laughs> not really cucumbers. Ew, ew. Ew, 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 ew. You're, oh I'm my. taking my hand away, don't ew, drop it. I hate you. It's a lot harder than it seems, right? 
the same. They're actually a type of echinoderm, like starfish and sea urchins, that can be found in shallow waters and at the bottom of the ocean or reefs. He's bringing over this monster sea cucumber. Whoa! He said this one is the richest nutrition in all kind of sea cucumbers. Okay, <laughs> very visual. This is like a nightmare. Oh my god. Take your sea cucumbers to the chopping block. This one is good for all types of people. First one, the men. It's gonna help to improve your um, sperm. <laughs> One cucumber sacrificed its life to be served sashimi style. For pregnant women, it reduces the threat levels. It's gonna help the baby boost the health better. The other is sliced up, seasoned, and stir fried in a mixture of heavenly Vietnamese sauces. You know what I like about these health benefits? It's equal opportunity. The sperm are pumped, the pregnant lady, more babies coming out of the womb, <laughs> like in this kind of a pose. I love this show. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of spiky red one. Yeah. It's sashimi. Should we try it? <laughs> Why is it expensive? <laughs> it's super salty, briny, like it tastes of the sea. Let's put it in this sauce, how it's supposed to be. Mmm. Mm. Really spicy, but that's a great flavor. Overall, I like it. Over here, it's really pretty fancy. I'm gonna just get a whole chopstick full of these suckers. Cheers. Mm. Oh. Ah. It's really dense. <laughs> My jaw. It's nuts because it's so thin you can see through it, like less than a millimeter thick, and it's still like breaking my jaw. I have a feeling people come here to eat intensely flavored, kind of strange exotic seafood mm. and a cop a sick buzz. Yeah. If you're still here with us at this point, I applaud your strength and really appreciate you because uh, this is how we make money. Action! Hey, how you doing? Let's get a quick pound. Boom! <laughs> Warning, number two on our list just might break it. Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh my god! Fancy some sea cockroaches? I give you isopods in Vietnam. Can she hold one? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little baby! Yeah, like a little baby, and it's really cold and it's. Oh. I'll take the baby. Thank you. <laughs> isopods are bottom dwelling sea crustaceans that are, well, pretty intimidating to look at. It has 14 legs and this little like fin part like a shrimp and then it's got this armor coating. More and more, isopods are being used in different ways and are becoming popular in Asian seafood cuisine. Who is eating this? So you know, rich people, they like to try exotic food, like strange food or weird food. So when they come here and they see this, they definitely have to try this. I can't wait to get so rich that I'm so bored. I'm like, I need rare deep deep sea species. After signing a comprehensive no liability waiver, we agreed to taste test the three isopod dishes our chef prepares for us. He begins by steaming the sea monster to prepare the meat. For dish one, our chef coats and deep fries the isopod parts in a wok. Transfer the isopod to a separate pot, adding in deliciously salty seasonings to elevate the taste. I'm gonna try to open this up. Oh, this is a thick shell. Oh, wow. I just took it to the chiropractor. What is in there? That's meat. Can I give you some? Okay, just some. Okay, thank you. Let's try it out. Yeah. All okay. right. It tastes better than I imagined before. What did you imagine though? You know, when you see it and it looks ugly, it looks scary and it tastes better. Well, it looks terrifying. So I don't know what that's saying very much. It's like somewhere between a shrimp and a brain. Really, a brain? Yeah. Dish two, fried isopod with pork fat. Oh, that's good quality meat. Looks like a lobster tail. Yeah. Maybe. the tenders of the meat combined with the crunchy of the crackling. This one is so good. I don't know how they did it, but that's really good. Yeah. We have one more course here. Our final isopod dish. Well, let me just play the scene. This is a shocker. This could be the main course at a Halloween party. No, but I think it's look funny, you know, like lying down on the legs up to the sky. Yeah. And a lot of peanut in your belly. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> wow. That's a nice Ooh, looking bite. Yeah. Um, a little bit of funk in there. A little bit bitter, right? It might just be in my head. I mean, we're eating out of the stomach of an alien creature. My taste buds have never been more confused. <laughs> they're so out of place right now. It's like they went to a Halloween party, but they're the only ones that wore a costume. This has to be the most unique food in Vietnam. Is this something you would try again? If I have money, then yes. Really? Because that's, this is for rich people, you know? <laughs>
galloping into first place all the way from the era of the dinosaurs, our ultimate bizarre seafood, the prehistoric horseshoe crab. This one even scares me a little bit. It's something I've never had. It's a horseshoe crab, but tell me which part of this is a crab? It doesn't look like a crab at all. Their popular name is actually a misnomer, as they are not truly crabs, nor even crustaceans, but a different type of arthropod. Huge shell on the outside. It's got a tail, and then it's got some creepy crawly legs. Like, where are even its eyeballs? Right there. Never actually explored one of these. These medical miracles have contributed greatly to the biomedical industry because they're strange, copper-based, blue blood, this compound is used to test the sterility of medical equipment and virtually all injectable drugs. What do you actually eat in here? What you eat is the eggs. Once they open this up, it'll be stuffed with the, the caviar, the eggs in there. When you say caviar, it does make it sound a lot fancier. Typically, the crabs are baked or grilled, and people then enjoy the orange-colored eggs inside. Whoa! Yeah. This is a tremendous amount of food. I did not expect that much to be inside of there. Um. Whoa, wow. They're like yolky to me. It's a little chewy. It's a little rubbery tasting. That's also very rich and fatty. The horseshoe crab was served in two iconic Thai styles. As a spicy salad and as a creamy curry stir fry. You have no idea how pumped I am that we found a food in Bangkok that you haven't done before. So we have the whole stir fry here. The original dish, which is homok, it's almost like a curry custard, often made with fish, but this one made with the eggs. <laughs> That's really good. I don't even taste the eggs anymore. It is like little chewy, sticky, rubbery balls that kind of explode with yolk in the middle. So this is one of the coolest things I've eaten in a long time. A huge surprise. Here we have the salad. You are the guest of honor. So again, you just want to kind of get a little bit of everything on one bite whole and chilies. Yeah, get that whole chili. But then you got to as well. <laughs> Good. Son of a gun. <laughs> Mark, thanks for being here today. After I eat this, I'm going to be running and screaming. Let's do it. All right. That is out there. Those eggs are so chewy. Oh, the spice. Is this like the normal version? It's so hot. I haven't been watching you closely all day because I'm looking at the camera. Can this food get you there? The classic Mark Wien's level four yummy face. This has the dimensions. It's gonna pull sure. it out of you. I think so. Can we do it simultaneously? Let's do it. You're my inspiration. <laughs> let's do it. Simultaneous Mark Wien's yummy faces. Let's go. Wow. Wow. It is absolutely delicious. Well if this countdown provided insight on anything, it's that seafood is wide ranging. As much as you may like your good old tilapia and calamari, there are literally plenty of other fish in the sea. Oh, look at that. If you decide to go fishing for new experiences, it works. You may be pleasantly surprised That's really good. with what you might catch. Wow. Until next time, a peace. My heart sees